I usually fall asleep while I meditate. But I think that is something that really gives me the refreshing uh -huh. factor and, and keeps me focused. Because mm -hmm. um, literally when you meditate, your, your goal mm -hmm. is to achieve... I guess, you know, what the gurus would say, nirvana. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say just a, a state of not thinking about anything. And that's the oh. hardest part. Yeah, because your, yeah. your mind yeah. is a race, you know? Yeah, I don't think there's ever a single time when I'm focused on one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just 10 million things going on in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you reach uh, mm -hmm. a point where you can completely blank it out and to, to let your mind rest? Yeah. Uh, and those two, three minutes of, of just meditating uh -huh. it, it really really does a lot and then mm -hmm. I'm, I'm constantly learning how to improve and enhance my meditation uh, how, how do you actually do the meditation share with us how do you actually meditate yeah you know i mm -hmm. you know i think people think that meditating mm -hmm. is, is a whole mm -hmm. uh, yoga style right. where you need to sit down in a certain way and mm -hmm. crossing your legs and having a certain posture to me i literally lay down i lay down and then and i pretend like there's nothing else in the world except me and and my body and in my room, so uh, I meditate anywhere. I meditate in the office. I meditate uh, at home. I meditate in bed. Um, some of the times I don't even uh, close my eyes. I, I look in the in the ceiling to the ceiling, um, and try to zero in on absolutely nothing. All right. So uh, there really isn't any uh, secret other than trying to think of absolutely nothing, but nothing. So wow! I mean, do you do this with music, or do you just do it just no, quiet? No. Yeah, and peace? it's all peace and quiet. Do you just shut Turn the door just off. in case someone? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, usually it's late at night, so there's really mm -hmm. nobody around me. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, except for the calls friends. to Korea from Korea to New York. Right, <laughs> right, right. Once those, once that's all over, mm -hmm. is when this meditation starts. And, and again, it only lasts one mm -hmm. to two minutes, but it's super super efficient and super that's refreshing great. that's uh, that's very it's a powerful moment for you yes yes wow tell me if there is something that you haven't tried and that you would like to try in the future um well i just crossed one thing off my bucket list i mm -hmm. went skydiving whoa um, uh -huh. which was crazy uh -huh. and uh, i had a great time doing it uh -huh. um i haven't tried bungee jumping yet mm -hmm. usually people do bungee jumping first and then they graduate yeah. to skydiving but you jump right in um, there yeah i i, I want to do bungee jumping mm -hmm. for sure and i love traveling mm -hmm. i love traveling so i love seeing new countries and new continents and new mm -hmm. people um, Africa is on my bucket list, so mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot to do, but mm -hmm. I, I would say uh, baby steps and bungee jumping first, and then we'll head over to maybe do a bunch of jump in Africa. Yeah, that would be interesting. I take bungee jumping as um, I've done it once. I haven't done skydiving, but I feel like bungee jumping is it's better to go first. Is it? It's like uh, giving a speech, and other people have to give speeches. So if you're done first, you can watch everyone else go through it. But if you're at the last person to do it, you got to suffer all the moments that all these other people have, you know, have that scary moment. Sure. But the after effect, the exhilaration, is like you want to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's good advice. I'll take yeah. that and I'll yeah. definitely Definitely jump first. Oh, go into it. Dive into it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, other things, maybe in terms of uh, work-wise or business-wise or even a whole new field. Sometimes when you're working in one field, you want to try another field. Does this happen to you? Absolutely. So um, what are some things? Like, even if you're not skilled at it, is there something that you want to actually try? Yeah. You know, I've, mm -hmm. I've, uh, I think I mentioned to you before, too, but mm -hmm. I love hip-hop. Right? Oh, yeah? So if, I could, uh -huh. if I could go back and start uh -huh. all over again, I'd be a rapper. Really? Absolutely, yes. Wow. Yeah. I'm horrible at it. <laughs> horrible at it, but I would love to. And uh -huh. uh, I definitely want to be in the music field. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I know mm -hmm. you have some experience in that as mm -hmm. well. But I'd love to be a producer. And, oh, wow. And be in the world of hip-hop. I just love, I just love the culture. Who's your favorite hip-hop artist? Guess. I, I, I can't even. Run DMC, I don't know. Uh, actually, <laughs> you no, know, I, I love uh -huh. them. Obviously, mm -hmm. they're the, the kings of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, uh, Jay Z is my favorite. Jay Z, yeah. Yeah. Oh. a lot. Right. Uh, Biggie is all party. <laughs> yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh wow. We have to go to Norebang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah what, what is your favorite song to sing at Norebang? <laughs> it's actually very weird. It's not uh -huh. even hip hop. Well, what's that? Because I'm horrible, so bad yeah. at rapping. I, mm -hmm. I I love listening to it and singing along mm -hmm. to it, but I can't sing it on my own. I sing a lot of Frank Sinatra. You do. I do. Oh, oh you sing again? That. I'm horrible. The at Salary it. Man, My Way, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> do you? <laughs> no. Oh. I don't. No. <laughs> okay. Because again, that's what every Korean does. Uh, and I can't every do that. salary man, my right. way, exactly. with a tie, you know, the next tie around their head. Yeah. Right. Uh, hip hop song I sing in a is unbelievably uh, Eminem.
them stand. That's a hard one. That's a hard one, but you know, when you can talk fast, you can do it. <laughs> wow, I have to see this. I've had practice in talking fast. <laughs> nice. We're gonna have to already wave everyone goodbye. We're at this moment to say goodbye. And uh, once again, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. Thank you again, I had a great and time. taking time out in your busy schedule. And now we'll let you fly off back to New York. <laughs> Now Thank that you've done the show, right? <laughs> Thanks. All right, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to everyone over there in TV land. Say goodbye. You want to say one last goodbye over here? Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm We got another expression for you to learn. Q for you. All right, this expression. Uh, 한국에서 이렇게 처음에 이렇게 사람들이 이렇게 딱 만날 때는 첫 인상 이렇게 얘기하잖아요. 첫 인상. 그 영어 표현을 어떻게 할까요? First impression. 네, 첫 인상. First impression. 첫 first. 그 다음에 impression이죠. So, oh wow, she has a great first impression. Wow, you know, I knew it wouldn't work from the first impression. 첫 인상이 안 좋았을 것 같아요. 뭐 좋았다 그랬어요. 뭐 이렇게 first impression. So, 첫 인상, first impression. Wow, he has a great first impression. These kind of things. So please remember that first impression. You know, I heard that when you meet someone for the first time, in that 20 to 30 seconds, we can assume much about them. Not that all the assumptions are true, but a lot can be assumed of the other person in that short time. Perhaps their religion, their class, their status, whether they're a student or a corporate worker, things like this. But what's more important than this is harder to work on is leaving a great last impression. We want to know someone for a long time, forever, why not? But things can change in the world. But let's live to make a great last impression rather than a first one. All right, so remember to do that. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.